everybody. Welcome to New Show. <laughs> I just, I just learned something. Uh, I do not like the taste of old saxophone. <laughs> this has been in my garage for about six years. And my mouth tastes like bacteria and hummus. So there you go. Uh, this is You Jokes. This is our very special episode of You Jokes. It's our love boat themed episode of You Jokes. Uh, also our 33rd episode too. We'll either, all the games tonight will either have a love theme or a boat theme, or in some cases both. So please follow, like, and share this page. If you're on YouTube, please subscribe. <laughs> that taste is not going away in my mouth. Hopefully you're not going away either. I do want to uh, thank some people for recently um, sharing this on Facebook. Uh, Chris Alberti, Katie McKean, Jamie Horan, Brian Pladu, Devin Gates, Martin Jones. Thanks for sharing it. Uh, you guys can share it too by clicking the share button. And I want to thank some folks on YouTube for subscribing. Uh, Taz Lady 71 Lisa Sleeper, M. Deandra, Micro Love Sharks HD, Rhonda Ross, Bev Hollabuff, Ben Pack, Quadamir, Michael Santiago, and MB McKinnon 1. Thanks for subscribing on YouTube. This is so much fun. Uh, if you've never been to YouTube before, uh, yes, it's a little insane here. Uh, but let me tell you what we do. It is a comedy competition. That's right. Two funny people will be coming up with jokes based on images or pictures or memes that I give them. But there is an extra part that makes it super fun, which is you playing at home. People like you, Amy Khan, Darren D, Andrew Pond, Moxie Jones, Kali Megalier, you at home get to type in your own joke. You don't have to, but if you got one, type it right in there to the Facebook or the YouTube chat. Our producer, Josh, will do his best to pull one out to go up against the professionals. And then you get to vote. You get to decide who the winner is because all is fair in love and boats. Uh, I see Kathy's here. Ryan Muck is here. Angela Rosender. Try your best. Uh, Postmaster Radio. Hello, sir. Carol Wiley. I want to introduce you to two very funny, two awesome people. Please put your hands together for Jill Whelan and Ted Lane. Hey, Jonathan. How are you doing? Good. Jonathan, How are you? Very impressed by your saxophone playing. Pretty good, right? I haven't yeah. played. I literally haven't touched it in six years. Wow! You, you and Charlie funny. Parker, he hasn't touched his in six years either. <laughs> I was gonna say, you know, it's funny. Uh, the hummus and old spit reminds me of my first kiss. So, <laughs> oh, there you go. Memory oh, bacteria. Yeah. Um, good. You time. guys look great. It's so nice to see you. Thanks for joining us. Um, of course. Ted, where are you? Where are you in the world today? I live in Torrance, and uh, one of my projects that I've been doing is I've been I, I write plays, as Jill will tell you. Which she and a I lot of plays uh, together on a project, but I've got some of my plays on YouTube also. Where do we and see them? Yes, you go to YouTube, you type in my name, and then I will give you the titles. The titles are "Blues in My Coffee." That's one play. Blues. Okay. Not cream in my coffee, but blues in my coffee. Yeah. The other one is Shakespeare over my shoulder. So Excellent. if you're a student of Shakespeare, there's a lot of Shakespearean jokes in that play. <laughs> and the third one is the tears of Shylock, which is my take on uh, Merchant of Venice from the point of view of Shylock. Oh, wow. That so good. That's amazing. How, no, I know you've written so many different, like how many plays have you written, Ted? I've written 25 plays. Yeah, it's insane. That's yeah. amazing. Shylock that is amazing. Is play. Yeah, it's it's fun. It's fun. Very it's cool. Well, please amazing, go look those up. Amazing plays. I love them. And Jill, Thank what have you? What, you you live literally what six blocks away from me? Yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> go and look in your window every once in a while. See what the mangums are eating. That was you. Yeah. Uh, what are you up to, Jill? Uh, well, besides bread making. Mm. Seems to be uh, and and uh, toilet paper searching. Um, I am doing a TV show with your wife. As a what? matter of fact, what? Uh, well, I thought this would be a good time to tell you. Um, <laughs> sure. And our amazing fearless leader director is Ted Lange. Yay! And it's a TV show called Take It From the Top, loosely based on my childhood um, with a lot of. Um, 
deviations <laughs> and uh it's and you're in it too mr mangum i don't know if you know that i am in it yes and my son chase put, put your head in here chase, chase mangum. yes is there he is. Chase so, mangum. remind people where they can watch that jill uh they can watch it on youtube at take it from the top uh, it's also on, I believe, Instagram and on uh, Facebook, but YouTube, the YouTube channel is the best and we would love it if people would sub subscribe because yes. that way we can keep it going. But it's a really fun show. We've got incredible people. We have Carolyn Hennessy, who is amazing. We have Lou Beatty Jr., who is amazing. Obviously, Chase Mangum. We have Angeline Rose Troy. Leah Mangum and I wrote it. It's Save for Ted Lange. It's an all-female crew. It's amazing. <laughs> yeah. Funny stuff. yeah. Very funny stuff. Take it from uh, the top. Ronald Taylor says he watched Celebrity Wife Swap episode with you, Jill, and that uh, he enjoyed it. So, oh, I, well, he didn't say he enjoyed it. He just said he watched it. I put, yeah. the, I put in that he enjoyed it. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's all right. I, I appreciate the watch. And yeah. Shout yeah. Well, Ted, if he, Jill, it in, he must have enjoyed it. You must have. Yeah. Uh, will he enjoy it as much as playing a round of you jokes? Here we go. First game tonight is name the boat. I did mention this would be boat and or love theme. <laughs> I'm going to show you a boat and you give me the name of this boat, starting with an SS if you want. So what is the name of this boat right here? What's the name of this boat? Type it in right now. If you have a joke in the YouTube or the Facebook chat, type it in right now. And I have to say, personally, I love it when I see a sailor with a G-string. Don't you? Type in the name of the boat now. Let's do this, says Austin. Yes, let's do this. Moxie Jones, name the boat, Moxie. Here we go. We're going to start off with Jill. Jill, what is the name of this boat? Well, uh, by the looks of it, I'm I'm going to go with the boat rider and call it the SS Yoko. <laughs> SS Yoko. Excellent, excellent. I think he tastes like hummus and, and bacteria too. I don't know. Oh, he definitely tastes like hummus and bacteria. Yes. <laughs> uh, Ted, what is the name of this boat, sir? I have a Beetle reference also, and it is... The SS, while my guitar gently leaks. <laughs> ah, yeah. <laughs> while my guitar gently leaks. Perfect. Yeah. Good jokes, folks. Going to the audience now. Josh, pull one out to go up against these fine people here. Noah K. Stewart, the SS Wonderwall. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Uh, this is the fun part. This is the time where now we get to vote. Ted, Jill, you cannot vote. You cannot vote, uh, but the audience can. If you think Ted won that round, type in a T. If you think Jill won that round, type in a J. If you think the audience won, type in an A right now. That is a T for Ted, J for Jill, A for audience. It will not be an official count. Josh will just do an eyeball. Uh, and he recently had his vision checked. It is 2050, so it'll be close. Uh, uh. Josh, let us know who won that round, sir. And the winner is Ted won the round. Yay! Yay! All right, well, you're a writer and all. Yeah, Jill. How many plays Jill have you written, Jill? Jill, Jill <laughs> oh, that would be. <laughs> That's okay. You know what? There's more time to catch up. There's plenty more rounds to play. The audience, I have to warn you guys, though, this audience, they are loyal um, and they are funny. So, uh, they are good. So you got to bring your game. But so far, you both have. Let's play our next game, which is called Caption This. Caption This. I'm going to show you a picture, and all you have to do is caption it. Here we go. Right there. <laughs> caption This. Ooh. Hey, say what you want. At least he's wearing a mask. Am I right, people? Yeah, <laughs> be safe. Wear a mask. Uh, Type in your joke now into the YouTube and or the Facebook chat or on Twitch if you're watching on Twitch. We stream there too. Uh, type it in now. Your joke. I'm going to start off. We started with Jill last time, so I'll start off with Ted this time. Ted, caption this. Okay. Uh, here's my caption. Scratch me behind my left ear and I'll lick you anywhere. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Okay. You don't you don't own any you don't own any pets, do you, Ted? <laughs> no. Uh, good answer there, buddy. Where we're going. All right. Well, 
What happened, Jill? I said, now I know which direction we're going. He, he <laughs> you should have known. I mean, uh, yeah. It's the love boat, Jill. <laughs> I, I know. Jill, okay. caption uh, this. Um, okay, here we go. Okay, but this time I get to wear Granny's nightgown and you pretend to eat me. Oh, 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 oh. I like it. I like what you two sick people are thinking. Let's see what the audience has. Josh, pull one out for us. Chabon says, morning <laughs> breath. Oh, wow, yeah. That is some hummus bacteria morning breath. Uh, Wait, was this the, is this the first guy you kissed right here, Jill? Yep. Wow. Yep. And that's after he got his teeth whitened. Oh, wow. <laughs> it's time to vote. Was it Ted? T for Ted. Was it Jill? J for Jill? Was it A for the audience? Shabon, Shabon. I wonder how you pronounce that. Shabon? Shabon? Uh, Shabon. Type it in now. <laughs> Uh, hopefully that just made Shabon's day. Josh, who won that round? Jill! Oh, Ted, it reminds me of Battle of the Network Stars. Yes, there we are. And here we are again. That's right. Battle the Network, baby. Were you guys ever on, were you guys ever on together? Yes. yes. Oh, That's wow. Yes, we were on together. Yes. And who That's won right. when you guys were on there? We did real well. Good. We Good. did real well. Yeah, we did. But now you're against each other, and it's one-to-one. -one. I can sense the competition is tight. It is. Listen, when I've got Ted against me, what can I tell you? <laughs> it's okay. Every time. Okay. <laughs> Let's see what we can do with this tiebreaker here. This tiebreaker game is called Finish the Shanty. Finish the Shanty. Uh, normally we do like finish the lyric or finish the song, but this is a shanty because it's on the ocean on a boat. Why am I Irish? That makes no sense. All of a sudden you became Irish. I know. Uh, the shanty is Yo Ho Ho and uh. Yo Ho Ho and uh, so we we don't want the real answer give us a fake answer uh, i'm not looking for a bottle of rum unless someone actually wants to send me a bottle of rum which i will gladly accept yo ho ho and uh type it in now to the facebook or youtube chat yo ho ho and uh we're gonna start off with jill this round jill finish the shanty yo ho ho and a bottle of hand sanitizer <laughs> Aww. He's a, he's a smart, safe pirate. I like that. <laughs> That's right. Socially responsible. Speaking of that, did you guys see the list of like, there's like a list of a thousand hand sanitizers that contain poison that you can't use. Have I you seen this list? Yes. Oh my I God. did see that as a matter of fact. Yes. Gosh. Oh, yeah. You got to be careful with the hand sanitizer now. Yeah. You got to be afraid of that more than you what? are the, the COVID. Um, Ted, coming to you, finish the shanty for us. Okay, well, this is really the beginning of a rap song. Oh. Yo, ho, ho, and uh, two broads I know. <laughs> Yo, ho, ho, and two broads I know. Yes, that is some good, some good rap, my friend. Yes. Uh, that's how he used to open his, that, that was his opening line when he would go to a bar. I remember. <laughs> so that's a, if you're saying yo, ho, ho, and two broads I know, that's a total of four. No, 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 <laughs> meaning yo, ho, ho, two broads I know. Oh, so the, the, the ho, ho's are the no, no's. Yes, <laughs> two broads. Yeah. Ho, 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 two broads I know. <laughs> uh, go to the audience for the best one. Josh, what do you got? Millie Elizabeth, yo ho ho, nice. and a bottle of hummus. Nice. Yo ho ho, and a bottle of hummus. Hummus is the recurring theme. I like it. Back. Yeah. Yes, it is a recurring. Time to vote. T for Ted, J for Jill, A for audience. That is T 
for Ted, J for Jill, and the A for audience. Go ahead and vote now. And Josh, we'll add them up and tell us who has won this round right now. It's Ted one, Jill one, audience zero, but the audience always tends to come back right around this point. So Josh, tell us now who won this round of you jokes. Ted! Yeah. We got some rock fans out there. That's what that is. Yes. Uh, usually, yeah, some rap. usually love boat and, and rap fans. They're the same crossover yeah, fans, they, right? They probably the same category. Yeah. <laughs> We are moving on to a little thing we call Bumble Brag, Bumble Brag. How this works is I'm going to show you a photo of someone and you tell me what is the headline of their dating profile? What is the headline of their dating profile? And here we go. Bam, right there. <laughs> what is this guy's dating profile headline? I don't think he needs a girlfriend. I think he just needs a shirt. No, just put on a shirt. Although he does bring protection, which I appreciate. We see him having there. Uh, type it in now into the YouTube or the Facebook chat. What is his bumble brag? What is his headline on his dating profile? We'll start off with Ted this round. Ted, what's his dating profile? His dating profile is topless and getting wet. Oh. <laughs> Think about it. I love it. Um, topless and getting wet. Ho, yes. ho. <laughs> oh, oh. Jill, what is this man's dating profile? Uh, not only will I swab your deck, but this is my cock ring. <laughs> Whoa. You heard it right. Whoa. <laughs> Oh, don't act so surprised. Oh, no, I'm not so surprised. <laughs> <laughs> I was with you when you used the ho-ho pickup line. Yeah, thank you. Ah, uh, you guys are playing dirty. I like it. Uh, go to the audience now. Josh, what's his dating profile from the audience? Jason Flay, just oh. looking for a few good semen. Oh, God, that's that's good. Good. That's I didn't see that one coming. Oh, oh. That, hit hard. that hit me hard. Time to send your children out of the room and vote, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Was it T for Ted, J for Jill, or A for audience? T for Ted, J for Jill, or A for audience? Type it in now and see who wins this round. Right now, uh, Ted has two, Jill has one. The audience still has yet to place on the board, uh, but I'm confident they'll do well this round. So, Josh, who won that round? Jill, you won the oh, round. Wow. That was good, Jill. Jill. That was good. <laughs> it's been a long six months, Ted. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Well, guess what, folks? It's time for a little thing we call Last Show's Best. Last Show's Best. Uh, what this is. Not everyone gets to watch this show live. In fact, most people that watch this are watching it after the fact because I guess 6 p.m. ain't good enough for them. Um, so <laughs> we want you to still be able to type in your jokes. If you're watching this later on Facebook or YouTube, still type in your joke. Uh, we go back and read all of the jokes from all the shows, and then we pick the best one from the previous show and ask that person on to the next show to play in the final round of play. Uh, so let's invite our winner from last time. Please welcome Ken Verduzco. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Ken, where are you from? I'm originally from California, and I now live in Vermont. You live in Vermont? Well, yeah. What do you do up there, Ken? I uh, work for uh, Hannaford, a, a New England supermarket chain. Oh, wow. Excellent. Um, well, congratulations. You won the uh, best audience you jokes. We're going to show you what you won for. Uh it's right here. It was finish the quote, which is you can take that to the, you can take that to the, and then you answered, you can take that to the manager, Karen. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Good joke, so, Karen. Thank you. <laughs> well done. Well done. I wonder if you thought of that because you work at a grocery store. Have you had some Karens? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and, and, and you see a lot of that in the news these days, too. <laughs> yeah, we do. We do. Uh, Brian Terry Whitlock, I wonder how Captain Steubing feels about this. <laughs> he, he'll look the other way. I pray to God. <laughs> 
Uh, well, Ken, you get to play in this final round of play. So hey. uh, we're going to pull it up now. This final game is called Name the Movie. Name the Movie. I'm going to show you a picture from a movie, and you tell me what movie it is from. And here we go. Bam. <laughs> Aw. So what movie is this from? Uh, type it in now to the Facebook or the YouTube chat. What movie do you think this is from? Uh, we're going to start off down at the bottom of the screen. Our winner from last week, Ken Verduzco from Vermont. Ken, what movie is this from? Uh, I'm going to say it's called Twin Holes, the story of Cat A. Moran. <laughs> Nice. I like how you worked that in there. Uh, good answer. Move it up. Jill, what movie is this from? Cat on a Hot Tin Sloop. <laughs> Cat on a Hot Tin Sloop. I like it. Ted, how about you? Mine is Another Pussy Steering the Boat. <laughs> <laughs> Which is the sequel to Pussy Steering the Boat. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. And that was a black cat. That's right. <laughs> uh, Josh, go to the audience, pull out the best, the best one from the audience. Uh, Layden <laughs> Tumek, 10,000 peas under the sea. 10,000 peas under the sea. We would also have accepted Apocalypse Meow, uh, but you uh, need to vote. Vote now if it was Ted, T, Jill, J. They're tied two to two. Ken, K, or A for our audience. That's T, Ted, J, Jill, K, Ken, or A for the audience. And while they're doing that, I'll tell you guys, uh, please follow, please like, please share. Please subscribe if you're on YouTube. If you're not watching it live and you want to play with us, come back for our next episode, which will be August 7th at 6 p.m. Pacific, 9 Eastern for our next episode of You Jokes. This episode is sadly coming to a close as the audience is voting. Josh, who won the final round and potentially the game of you jokes? The audience hey! got a point. Hey! <laughs> that was a good one. Yes. All right. Good job, audience. And I'm glad, I'm glad Ted and Jill, you guys tied, so there's not going to be any harsh feelings between you guys. <laughs> the family. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, I want to thank people for watching. I see Debbie Bridges, Shannon Rees. I see Olga there, uh, Sarah Ray Ray Johnson, Christy Spriegel, Melissa Helgkamp, uh, Postmaster Radio. Thank you all for, for watching and playing along. We love having you back every week. And Ken, congratulations, Ken. Uh, stay safe up there. Thank you for joining us. Uh, thank you. And keep playing and tell your friends. Oh, yeah. Um, Ted and Jill, it's such a pleasure to see you guys. Thank you for joining us and making this a super special themed episode of You Jokes. Check out Ted's plays on YouTube. Check out Please. Jill yeah. and my wife's uh, show. Take it from the top. Uh, and uh, we will see you guys next time right here on You Jokes. Thanks. Bye. Thank you, Ken.